We were in St. Louis for a family reunion, and because of the Olympics, we thought a Japanese beer sounded good. We'd been to the Kyoto Japanese Steakhouse before and enjoyed a good family meal, with the food being prepared by chefs at your table. While the meat is flipped about and knives flash in carving up the meal, diners can also enjoy sushi made fresh on premise. You can even watch your sushi roll being made by the skilled culinary staff. Notice the delicate touch that is necessary when creating these rolls. Also notice the chef has all his fingers. There's a nice beer selection, a fully stocked bar, and sake is available if that appeals to you. Konnichiwa! from a beer ferry. We're at the Kyoto Japanese Steakhouse in St. Peter's, Missouri, outside of St. Louis. In honor of the 2021 Olympics in Tokyo, we're gonna go inside and have some cold beer for a Japanese beer showdown. We're also honoring a special guest, Kelsey Card. She's throwing the discus at her second Olympics, and we're really excited. Konnichiwa, and welcome to the Kyoto Steakhouse in St. Peter's, Missouri. We're gonna tap into a couple of Japanese beers here in a minute, and we're gonna sample Asahi, Kirin Ichiban, and Sapporo. So the first beer we're going to sample in our Olympic challenge is Asahi. It's a dry beer. Let's give it a pour out. I like the fact that they serve the beer in a chilled glass here. Let's give it a sniff. Surprising amount of malt nose in this beer. Let's give it a taste. That beer is served teeth crack and cold, and it's going to be the perfect companion to washing down a spicy Asian dish. Our second beer in our challenge is going to be Sapporo. Let's pour it out. Got a nice light color, very similar to the Asahi. Let's give it a sniff. Not quite as strong as the Asahi. Let's give it a taste. got a slightly sweeter finish than the Asahi, but it's definitely a drier finish. The last beer in our Olympic beer challenge is Kirin Ichiban. This one is only available on tap here, but as you can see, again, it's a nice light color. The head seems to be dissipating a little bit more quickly, but let's give it a sniff. Definitely more of a hop nose than the other beers. Let's give it a taste. Mm. I don't really like the finish of this beer. Uh, it comes across as a little bit sour. Um, no. Uh, I can't advise this beer. And the judges' results are in. As far as the bronze medal is concerned, 
the Kirin Ichiban came in with a disappointing aftertaste. Silver medal goes to Sapporo. And the gold medal winner from this year's Olympic Japanese Beer Challenge goes to Asahi. Ichni Sanchi Gorupsi Chach Kuchu Stots Jinkaku Kantsune Somborokoto Stots Mokoto no Omichio Mamorokoto Stots Drogo no Seishio Yashorokoto Stots Regio Munzorokoto Stots In conclusion, a beer fairy gives Kyoto Steakhouse's beer selection a wave of the magic wand. I was surprised with the Kirin rating out of the tap, as when it is served out of a bottle, it does not have a sour finish. I also read that Asahi has donated millions to become an Olympic gold partner, along with several other Japanese companies. If you like this Beer Fairy video, please like us down below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram and check out our website at www.beerfairytales.com. Until our next video from a Beer Fairy, sayonara.